I'm going to show you guys how I wash my cornrows and how I kind of bring them back to life. This is the state that they're in right now. You can see they're very frizzy. They need to be revitalized and all that. So I'm going to walk you through that process. To be honest, I don't advise doing this if you just got your cornrows done because usually I'll tell you guys to wash your hair once a week. But when it comes to cornrows or protective styles, you really want them to last as long as possible. And putting it through the water process like a washing machine is just not going to do it. It's going to mess up your style. So I do this as a last resort, usually on the fourth week of me having cornrows in. We're gonna be doing a few things throughout this process. We're gonna wash the cornrows, we're gonna moisturize the cornrows, we're going to oil our scalp, and we're going to actually style it so it looks how it did, or it looks as close to a freshly done style as possible. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna try it anyway. This is what I'm gonna to use to clean my hair or to cleanse my scalp. I'm just gonna show you the products as I go along so we don't waste any time. Let's hop into this. Alright guys, so I'm just going to walk you through the entire process of me just cleaning my braids. I'm letting the water do most of the work right now. I'm just rinsing it. Then I'm going to go in with the shampoo and I'm going to use the bottle to apply it along the parts of my hair. I'm being very gentle, not being too rough with my, my cornrows right now. I'm just using the bottle, letting it do its thing. Now I'm just going to rub the suds along the parts because this is really what we want to get clean, right? Using the water, making sure that we're, we're, we're getting that suds in there. It's really just a self-explanatory process, but I'm showing you exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to focus my hands on the parts of my hair, not necessarily the cornrows, because I don't want to take out any more hair that's in the actual braid, if that makes any sense. Again, making sure to get that scalp massage in there and make sure that you're paying attention to your undercut throughout this process, right? That's still your scalp. You still want to keep it clean. So this is how it looks with all the hair and the undercut suds up. Now we're just gonna rinse it all out. And, and don't forget to wash your body. That, that's an important part. All right, so we're using the water to rinse out all the excess shampoo. So the braids are clean now. So now we're gonna go in with our moisturizing process. This is how the fresh braids look. You can see they're still frizzy, but we're gonna put that moisture back inside, right? So I'm going in with my leave-in conditioner. I'm really gonna focus on the ends of my hair throughout this process, right? It's not gonna be so simple to moisturize your hair as if it was out. We're really working with limited space and limited, I guess you could say, accessibility to the hair. So I'm just gonna apply it along the braids to do as good a job as I can. I'm using a squeezing motion. I'm not trying to drag it through my braids, but I'm trying to squeeze that moisture in there, applying the leave-in conditioner. All right, and we're just about finished. So now we're just gonna hop back in and after I put the moisture in and I'll see you guys on the other side. So now what we're gonna do is oil our scalp and afterwards we're gonna blow dry our hair and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna get this look to come together. I'm using this oil on my scalp, but I just put it in this bottle just because it's easier. I'm just gonna... See, the trick isn't to pour a bunch of oil on your head like you're anointing Jesus. Take a little bit, then you just go drop, drop, and I'm going along the parts of my braids. Probably do this like a total of four times maybe. Problem right now is that my hair is drenched so that there's gonna be flyaways because my hair is like saturated with water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a do-rag and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair. So it dries, the water's gonna evaporate, but the compression from the do-rag is gonna keep those flyaway hairs. We're actually gonna do this twice. And I'll show you the second time around. This is just so my hair isn't drenching wet, but the second time around is when we're actually gonna style it and go in with a mousse. And that's gonna, that's gonna help it look the way it does after your braider just finishes your hair. I'll start with the medium heat and the high fan setting and I'll just kind of fiddle around with it until I figure out, you know, what exactly I like. Make sure that you pull down each braid like fully so that it stretches out. All right, so my hair is basically dry now, or at least the scalp is. The corner part of my hair is dry. The braids in the back are still a little damp. That's okay because those are the actual braids, but I want the frizz from the top to be minimized as much as possible. I ended up taking off the do-rag just because I wanted to make sure that, you know, it was fully dry here first. So now what we're gonna do, this is the secret sauce to it. We're gonna get a mousse, right? This is the one that I use. Peep it, check it out. This isn't sponsored, but I like it. Just gonna shake this up a little bit, start applying it. Ooh. Okay, that's a little slow. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. And basically, you're gonna spread this around. 
Spread that all over. All right, now we got the do-rag on. The mousse is all over our hair. So we're just gonna get the blow dryer once again. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna aim it at our head and hopefully it'll dry. And because of the do-rag and the mousse and the compression and all that, hopefully our braids will look way better than what they did before. Let's get into it. All right, boys, it's time for the reveal. Let's do this. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, be back to life. We back to life, boys. Now, obviously, there's still gonna be some frizz. There's still gonna, especially if you've had your cornrows in for a really long time. You know, you can't really escape that. But this is something that you could do if you don't wanna get your hair redone or you can get it redone, right? So if you want a little bit more life out of it, you could try this out, wash your cornrows, then, you know, moisturize it a little bit, put some mousse on there, put the do-rag on, and then boom. Now, a lot of you have never had a protective style in your life. And part of the reason is because you keep cutting off your hair. You keep restarting. So I want you to watch this video next where I go over how to resist the urge to cut off your hair. I go over some really helpful tips that are going to help prevent you from restarting your hair journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.